Hey guys, this is Kiwani Namori, and I'm just doing an update and explanation of what's going on because I haven't put up a video lately with everything that's been happening. So, um, first off, um, my computer did die. Um, so I put that up on my Instagram, so if anyone was wondering here that I didn't have access, like why I haven't put up a video in a while. So, I... So I've lost a lot of stuff because my computer died and IT wasn't able to help whatsoever. They weren't able to bring anything off of it or restore it. So I've lost um, videos I did of box openings and some writing stuff that I've been editing. So I've, that kind of got me frustrated because now I have to like hunt down older versions and re-edit it again. So I'm a little set back on my writing, which is really important to me. Um, so also my video camera quality on this computer is awful um, that I, on the replacement I have right now. Um, so I need to get a better camera for that to do my videos because this is, I don't like this. And I can't really show you the great face-ups that I'm like, getting for my dolls because it won't be seen. Um, and because of the computer thing, I've, um, I'm in selling Stuff because I also need to get money for the new computer um, and it's just helped me realize to stay focused on what my original intent was which I got into the hobby not only to do sewing which is very important to me as well but my writing is more important to me and like lately I've kind of drifted away from that and been distracted more about the hobby and like shelling characters to be um to be uh, the characters in my novels, but at the same time, it kind of threw me off in my writing because I'm trying so hard to focus on making this character the shelled form in the doll versus writing it and making the doll based on that character. But, um, so I'm trying to take a step back from the characters I'm, I'm shelling in my dolls, and I'm also selling some ones that are kind of throwing me off because I kind of want to write them into the story rather than they were they were purchased with an a character already in mind. So I'm just I'm really just trying to organize everything the way I want it, um, which can be frustrating because I really like some of the dolls I have and I just like they have beautiful face offs. So I worked really hard um, to explain uh, how I wanted them, and I was just like I'm close to it, but yeah I'm still not happy. So that's kind of like a sign of like. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to shell that character or I should definitely finish writing the character before I before I try to give him a physical form. Um, and I guess there, I also wanted to do more fan stuff because I'm, as it's, if it's obvious in some of my other videos, I'm a big anime fan. So I kind of really wanted to do character dolls, but I I tried at a point earlier in my hobby and I just didn't get around to it because I didn't have time. And the sculpts that I wanted weren't the character, didn't look accurate to the characters. And I kind of finding more relief, new release stuff is looking more like the characters I've been wanting to shell forever. So I kind of wanted to do that. But I mean, <laughs> and I feel it's easier as well to do that than shell them all into my own novel characters because I won't be contaminating the inspiration sort of um because already pre-designed character I just make it look like them and I'm not trying to write the character to be accurate to the doll um so that's yeah, that's happening and I I wanted to show off some new dolls but this camera's not that great so I'm gonna have to do redo it later on when I get a new camera but um my Amadeus Studio Yolan did come in, so this gorgeous man, and he he poses wonderfully. I put some pictures up on my Instagram and Flickr, and I'm going to do some more. I'm going to do a body review video as, um, as soon as I can on him, and yesterday my, um, my Rumpel Doll Abaddon head did come in, so he... He's here, <laughs> and he has a body, which I recorded a box opening for that is now lost with the computer. So, yeah, he's on a Dolls Town 17-year-old 
body and normal skin. And it's a pretty good match. Um, the doll sounds slightly more pale, but I don't think it's that noticeable, especially on this camera. <laughs> um, but it neck looks pretty awesome with that. So that's this guy. And then I, I have the Morpheo on the, uh, the Akagi doll body. I had two of them and I sold one because um, I, I didn't want both of them on the same type of body because they weren't the same type of character. Um, so he's here and his face up is not very accurately displayed on here. <laughs> um, I also got the Little Rebel combo head I've been waiting for. And I put that on a mask cat body. The resin match is actually pretty great. The little rebel head is just a slightly more red tone than mask cat. And I'll be doing a review on this hybrid as well. Um, so those are some videos to look forward to. I'm also still waiting on my Switch Yido head that I ordered when that was released a couple of months ago. It should start coming in next month. Um, but I want to say as a heads up to expect some delays in the videos um, while I'm trying to get situated and while I'm trying to make sales so I can go ahead and purchase the things I need to. But it's also um, con season for me. And since I'm a cosplayer and I do commissions for cosplays, it's getting really busy over here. And plus, I'm still juggling the doll, co doll commissions. So, um... I won't be doing as much posting as I want to until, like, after, in the beginning of June, it'll start slowing down again. But I will, I will be posting just a few of the reviews of the bodies and then quiet down after that. Um, but if anyone wants to see me at a doll meet at a con... I'm going to MomoCon and then uh, SuperCon, so that would be really cool if I get to see anybody there. Because I, I do want to bring a doll with me. I haven't decided who. Probably Newt because he's precious and everyone loves him and I love him, so. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, and that's going to be it for now. So um, I'll try to get videos out as quickly as possible with a better quality. I don't know, I may have to start recording on my phone, which will just have this weird black screen on the side. Um, I gotta think of more alternatives. If anyone has suggestions, let me know. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye!